welcome to today's FAD. Today we're going to talk about how to quickly convert Epoch Time uh, to human readable. For those who aren't familiar with Epoch Time, Epoch Time is basically the way that Splunk holds on to time values. It's the number of seconds that have passed since 1970 or uh, anyway, I'm going to get my years wrong. But anyway, it's, it's just counting the seconds. And so it's a very large number. I'm going to jump over here to a nice little cool Epoch converter and you can see uh, every second's going by, this is the epoch time. It just keeps on ticking up. And we can see what the, uh, we can grab the human readable date. So you could put, for example, an epoch time in there and it will convert it. So how do we take this in Splunk? Uh, uh, this is not a very easy number to tell on time. So we're gonna write here an example. I wouldn't grab the epoch time using my little make results command. I can see currently when I ran this, it's at May 5th, 2023 at 1021. And here is the epoch time, very difficult to read. Uh, just so you are aware, Splunk has made the underscore time field to actually do more than just be a value. It'll actually convert epoch time directly to human readable. I see people say well, using shrift time and things like that. That's cool. If you only need one time value and you can get away with not using this time field that Splunk sp specifically sets aside, you can actually just do something like this, eval time equals foo. Now realize, remember I had this as the time, it's gonna change. We've got my clock up here. If I run this, time now says 2218, but that's not the time. Reason being, and if I take this filled out, you'll see time will change back. It's now matching the same time I've caught up here. The reason that is, is because Splunk will naturally take this and do all that strift time and convert it into a nice human readable form. So if you only need one time filled, my recommendation is modify, use the time. Uh, and things will be a lot, a lot smoother for you. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Use that underscore time field, just eval time and put your time value in there and you don't have to mess with any form of uh, conversion. Uh, I will have videos covering it, but for a nice little trick, a little, a little time save, just do eval underscore time equals your variable and you'll be good to go. I hope this helps and if you like it, keep coming back. Uh, hope, to, hope you'll be watching more of my videos.